Hi Virgo, this is your weekly day by day reading for the week starting 27th of January 2020. I will draw seven cards for you and then I'm going to clarify with another seven so we're going to have a pair of cards per day. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Influencing energy, the world card this week. Something comes to completion, some kind of part of your life, some important situation. The world card will always say important situation is coming to an end. It doesn't matter how small it seems if you say it, if it's important for you and very much part of your life, it's a part of your life, but it comes to completion. Now this card, let me just tell you, kind of strange, strange, strange. Look at this, Five of Cups on Monday, Seven of Swords Tuesday, Seven of Rods on Wednesday, Three of Swords Thursday, Three of Cups Friday, Five of Pentacles Saturday, Four of Cups Sunday. You have this three, four, five cups <laughs> here. Um, uh, it's all um, um, Kind of disappointment it seems to me that you are finishing something here definitely i'm gonna do clarifiers immediately right now let me just tell you what is on my mind here seeing this world card that you are completing this situation and uh and because you do have something new definitely you do have something new that is stands for you three of cups uh, this five of pentacles down there on the window um, you've got two cups down there on monday that you see you do have something new that is going on for you and it is certain there is your awareness you there is even small celebration you you know you are aware of it you've got something for yourself it just seems to me that is uh, Perhaps that this situation was a big part of your life. Situation that is over now. And you can't stop thinking about it. Thinking about it with nostalgia, with sadness. There were difficulties. There were difficult moments in your life. And you, at this moment, it kind of, you're all the time thinking about it. You, it's over. It's kind of, you feel it's over now. But you cannot stop thinking about it how difficult it was you kind of kind of you can get out of this situation of four of cups five of cups look at five of pentacles three of swords all these sadness moments are there yeah and <laughs> okay with um okay five of cups with the high priestess seven of swords with the knight of Wands, um, seven of rods, this is lovely combination, seven of rods with the ace of wands, um, the star card with the three of swords, three of cups with five of uh, wands, and five of pentacles with five of pentacles. <laughs> confirmation four of cups with the tower card, influencing energy, eight of eight of uh, uh, ones so it is obviously that situation is over and it's kind of closing down a bit faster that you than than you were uh, um that then you then you really that you really wanted it um you were not you knew that you've got things coming for you it's a new situation it's actually unfolding it's unfolded you are already into the new situation i really feel it like that you are already there You've got these two cups down there standing. The high priestess is number two. The new things are there. You're just kind of sitting there waiting for the moment for you to, to realize, to understand this new situation that you are into right now. You are already there. You're just comprehending this new situation. In the meantime, you 
uh, kind of all the time thinking how difficult it was earlier uh, or what difficulty did you have that you did have to get there because this is high priestess is a card it's an energy that that promises good fortune uh, uh, prosperity everything you just need time it's with time now you will be very prosperous these two cups that you that you've got behind that is just a perhaps beginning something that you've got for certain right now but promises bright future promises a lot for you though for some reason you are all and all this week look at you even a four of cups on sunday all this week you will be reminiscing your past difficulties the whole week i don't know should i even go through these cards into the details really will go but anyway anyway let's go seven of swords with knight of wands knight of wands uh, is, is energy down there of action you are um you you feel this fire energy within yourself i see this your energies are beautiful here uh, the the whole this first um, um most of the uh, most of this uh, working weekdays with high priestess knight of wands ace of wands star card you feel really good you you are you have no doubts about your future you really see your future in uh, a bright light you have no doubts about yourself it is only that something is from in your surrounding in your society in your family or perhaps even work environment but i uh, kind of feel that it is something really personal in here that you cannot get um, cannot forget cannot put aside cannot um, 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 not not gonna forget your past it's impossible to forget it but uh, you know some some you still uh, relieving this difficult situation you're still there you, you, it seems to me you don't even want to get out of it uh, you kind of stuck stuck with this mind in into this um into these moments difficult moments that you did have it's over i, I as i i cannot uh, um i really at every point here i really see and it, it's over you've got new things is that that is it is there and it's going on already somehow this week somehow this week you will need some kind of realization i don't know let, let me get there but yeah even as i said tuesday with the seven seven of uh, swords and knight of wands you feel that you uh, moving forward towards something much better you've got bright new ideas and you know your way is just right way uh, it's a right part it's great ideas it's something lovely is going on for, for you it's beautiful things that is going on for you you feel it you have no doubts but somehow you don't want to go you don't want to go out of of uh, you showing yourself in a in a somber mood some kind of in a, you want to show your sadness to people i don't know why i want to talk so much about this <laughs> past difficulties no on wednesday i see you defending some idea this bright idea something that you have i don't know if it's connected even to, to this energy that side it seems to me that um this week kind of every day is day for itself but still connected you've got something new that's going on for you um, it is that you did have some difficulties earlier that you just cannot forget you just cannot go out of it maybe it was uh, a, a something that was lasting for too long you know and you just cannot get out so easy even though you do have new things are going on but this week it's kind of scattered energies um kind of every day for itself like different like one day yeah oh, i feel optimistic another day in the afternoon different you know wake up in the morning full of optimism and in the afternoon i'm fighting already i'm angry you know things like that look at this i'm i'm uh, thursday also like that like i feel so optimistic i see my future there and then suddenly remember again yeah but uh, you know i uh, that was uh, the same situation like earlier on and i was very unhappy and i was hurt and so, and so. you know this kind of uh, um you're changing your mood from moment to moment 
And my impression is that it is the way how you how you transform, the way how you closing down uh, one part of your life to move forward into another, one uh, to closing some some situation or uh, some time of your life that you're closing and you're, you're beginning anew with something else and it is the way how you're processing it that you're process it, processing this uh, change this week that that's the way that you're gonna be you know maybe you know just just optimistic with new ideas and then you're ready to fight and then you are optimistic and happy and then in the afternoon and happy and broken heart and remembering again and then we have friday this three of of cups beautiful lovely energy where everybody is toasting something having fun on friday just what it's supposed to be and then we have five of, of uh, uh, roads together the same thing you see what i'm saying um, even in the moment when, like three of cups, it's uh, that is shallow energy. When something small, like you just get your your friends uh, uh, pop in and say, "Yo, um, let's just do have a drink, a little chat, a little bit small talks, just being happy for whatever, just because you're happy." You know that lovely, lovely, happy energy. And then we have five of ones with that. You know, again, you get into this conflict, you know, into this easy moments, easy, happy moments, oops, conflict again. All the time, all the time, and it seems you're processing something. You are processing it, the high priestess that. And I love this tower, to be honest with you. I love to see this here with the high priestess. And this, I think it's going to be over this week. You, you, um, it seems to me, Virgo, that you're torturing yourself. Torturing yourself this week. You know you've got something good for yourself. It's kind of, it's so difficult for you to, to step forward, to put another step there into, into the future, into the new reality. You've got your new reality, but you just cannot go with another foot today. And, and it seems to me this week it's going to happen. The high priestess decision will make me. You will know decision will be made, and then perhaps you're gonna need need this tower card there, because realization. This isn't place I wanna be. This past situation. You are in the past. You are in the past. The whole unhappiness, the whole things that that tremor that you feel within yourself. That's your past. That's your past. You have your present, new present. That is, you know, big, few, your future begin begun already. You already out of it, but you, you kind of, <laughs> you still can see it. I cannot see it. And my impression that that Sunday, Sunday will bring to you enlightenment. Whatever uh, uh, that's going to be. It might be unpleasant, it could be unpleasant, it, it could come from somebody else, but it will be, it will, it will come for you on Sunday. Will you be on your own, just making decision on your own, sitting and, and thinking about yourself after all this? Because this is, I, I'm telling you, you're going to feel very, very, uh, um, you're going to have difficult moment within yourself. To, to stabilize yourself, to stabilize your emotion, to stabilize everything, your finances, your friendships, your, you know, whatever it is, your career, you're going to have this week, you just feel that you are not stable. You just need time for yourself to stabilize yourself. And it seems to me the enlightenment, really, the tower is for you, not breakage, but enlightenment. It's over. It's over. So you can move on with these beautiful energies of High Priestess, Promising, Abundance, beautiful roads, Knight of Wands, beautiful ideas, the Star card, everything that you, you, you knew it is there for you. You just needed, for some reason, you were stuck, stuck in the past time. 
and this week uh, you have to break out of it like you breaking out of this past time past emotions past whatever past I hope that you're going to have a successful week for yourself, Virgo.